guys let's go on to the charts and i'll show you how you can do top down analysis from a hard time frame to a lower time frame where you can get good entries guys okay so let's go on to the charts now okay so we are on the charts i uh, hope you guys can see the charts we are starting from a high time frame remember guys when you're doing uh top down analysis you have to look at the high time frame and what the high time frame is telling you why we look at the high time frame is because the high time frame holds more mass more mass than a lower time frame okay the candles on a high time frame like the weekly or monthly chart in fact we could start from the monthly chart here the candles on the monthly chart hold more weight or more mass okay than the candles on the lower time frame okay because you could see that in one of the candles just one of these candles on the monthly time frame it contains up to 20 days up to 20 daily candles okay or four weekly candles or you could say it contains so many one hour or one minute candles in just one candle so the monthly candlesticks or monthly charts have a higher mass than the lower time frame candles so you know uh, even in physics you know that uh, a massive body will always attract a less massive body like for example the planets are rotating around the sun because the sun has more mass than all of the other planets okay that's why they are uh, uh, gravitationally bound to uh, the sun so uh, the sun is what is dictating how the planets are rotating around it okay so even when you're looking at the charts here when you start from a hard time frame you're looking at a more massive time frame so the gravity of the hard time frame will influence the movements of the uh, lower time frame candles so we'll start from a monthly chart when you're doing top down analysis what you have to look at is look at the market direction first okay so on a higher time frame the monthly chart we can see that uh, gbp usd from uh from 2008 has had a drop a, mo a movement in a massive consolidation here okay and then another drop okay then a high a low a high a low now it is placing a high somewhere here okay so this is the movement of the candles or market structure on gbp usd on a monthly chart so what do we see here what we see is generally in a long 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 term frame like for like 10 or 15 years we're seeing that big gbp uh, gbp usd is be moving lower okay so on that monthly time frame we are looking at gbp usd moving in a downtrend okay a massive downtrend you can even put a trend line on here if you want to okay you can put a trend line here like this if you want to okay but that is not very accurate on the monthly chart so what do we do on the monthly chart on the monthly chart we want to look at the major turning points the obvious major turning points okay where the market has turned or has made at least two touches okay so what we see is that there is an area where the market was rejecting here all right and it came back here so we had one two three four monthly candles rejecting off of that area and then we had the price coming back to that area many years after so what we do is that we draw a zone there okay remember pricing is a zone not not a not not a line okay you can even pull it backward you can see that there is a uh, there is reaction here in the past reaction here and then reaction here reaction here reaction there so that is a valid area there is also this area here where the market was reacting but this is very far away we don't need to draw that in fact we don't need to push this too far we can just pull it back here because this is current price action on the monthly chart which other area do we see the price reacting we see the price reacting here here and here on the monthly and also here so we also draw a zone there okay remember guys this is how you do top down analysis from a higher time frame which holds more mass and gravity as you come down to a lower time frame the weekly the daily the four hour the one hour charts as you look for 
entries on intraday time frames so what do we see here on the price action the price action here tells us that we had a major consolidation in this area before market broke down from this zone here on the monthly chart then came back quickly above that area tested it with one two three months and then the price action went up and then came back to test it again and now it is pushing up again okay so what does this tell us on a monthly chart we have had a rejection here and a morning star formation on the monthly chart so we are seeing gbpusd moving upwards okay hopefully to this level here up that is if this level is broken so what do we do after we've seen this we go to a lower time frame drop down to the weekly chart on the weekly chart we see that uh, GBPUSD has tested this monthly level and it's now pushing to the upside now there is this area here of concern okay there is this area of concern where market might come back to okay because we had a touch here we had a touch here we had a touch here now what are we looking at for the weekly ch weekly charts the weekly chart the market has risen to this area and it has created so many weeks so remember you're looking at areas where the market is rejecting okay the areas where the market is rejecting so what do you do here you've drawn this on the weekly you can draw a smaller zone here because the market is rejecting that area with multiple weeks draw in a small zone there okay we can color code this just to uh just to dis distinguish them from uh, from the monthly chart okay we can just color code them all right so these are the weekly ones in blue what else do we see on the weekly chart on the weekly chart we see that the market of course did break this trend line okay to go up broke that trend line and then we see also the market has broken this trend line from the weekly chart okay this one so what do we do here what we do next is we go down to the daily chart i'll show you guys how you can analyze from a higher time frame using top-down analysis now when you come to the daily chart you can see clearly that this level we drew on the weekly chart here okay we can just move this back here this level we drew on the weekly chart has an effect okay there are multiple projections on that level in this weekly level so also this trend line was broken by the market went back to test there once twice now the market broke structure on the daily time frame which structure did the market break the market broke down below this structure remember that this was a consolidation okay this was a consolidation here you can see market was consolidating here for so many days it was just caught up within this range okay so this candlestick broke below that daily level which means the uptrend or the consolidation ended at this break of structure and then market went on to reject 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 broke above tested this level now it's rejecting this level but we can now wait to see what the market is going to do after this what else do we see we see that there is a downward trend or a downward channel that is forming on the daily chart okay a downward channel we can remove this or we can also leave this so that you can see that this is also a bullish flag forming on the daily chart so what we could expect is that the market can come down to this level and then from there go up and break above break out of this bullish flag retest and then go up to that level so that is the analysis we are looking at on the daily chart what else do we see on the daily chart on the daily chart is where you draw your trend lines your channels and those small levels okay like this level we can code it uh, red for the daily 
and then uh, we can also add a small trend line here okay can add a small trend line here like this okay so we go down now to the four hour chart the four hour chart will show us clearly what is happening now you can see that the market is caught up in this channel this big channel bullish flag okay and this level here in red you can see now clearly how many times it was tested to show you that these levels i'm showing you are really there and they're, they're working okay so now what you're looking at is a breakout from this trend line you can adjust it a bit okay don't be afraid to adjust adjust your trend trend line there so what we are seeing is that this daily trend line or you can even draw it on the four hour chart has been breached okay market breached it but market has come back to this daily level here so what are we waiting for to place our entries we're waiting for the market to break below this red zone retest it then we can sell it to this channel over here okay so what do we do we go down to the one hour chart that is where we're going to be looking for our entries for swing trading now what do you see on the one hour chart on the one hour chart we are seeing that the market is broken below come to this level and it is now basically playing around this level so what do we do we wait for the market to break below this level here okay maybe retest it give us a bearish engulfing or any bearish confirmation around here then we can sell to that level okay let me make this a bit thicker so that you guys can see much better okay so that is what we are waiting for on gbp usd based on top down analysis as of this day of this recording you can see that uh yeah this is what we are looking for on gbp usd so now you can come in and place your entries around there and then target this area here okay so this is how you do top down analysis i hope you guys have, have, have followed i hope you've seen how we do market breakdown from a higher time frame to a lower time frame to get bias okay directional bias okay so you can see how clean the chart is with all of the analysis on you can see all the levels are there okay so our bias is selling gbpusd not buying because we see that it is below monthly below the weekly resistance okay below weekly below daily resistance below weekly resistance and it is also now playing around daily support turned resistance here okay once it breaks now below this on the one hour chart and retests this red level here then we can sell you can see how clear this analysis is i hope you guys learned something from it if you've learned something or if you have any questions uh, you can ask them no problem we can uh, go through it again but uh yeah i hope you guys learned something from it that is it for now yeah until next time guys all right